Jess here and today is my first video in a new series that I'm starting on the Con Marie Method. It's based off of her book, The Life Changing Method of Tidying Up. I'm so excited to start this. I've been watching tons of YouTube videos. I just ordered the book. It should be here in about a week, but I could not resist jumping right in. Now, I started with my kids first because I continuously purge out their clothes and I know that what I have right now is what we're going to keep because we are, let's get started. See, it is a mess. You know, we normally fold our clothes like the stores do, we stack them up. And I've watched tons of videos on a folding method for, and I'm gonna dive right in. This is crazy and this is his bottom drawer here. So this is before. And then I'm gonna share with you guys the after. So first you just wanna find the center of the shirt and you're gonna fold one side in. Take the sleeve and fold it. And then do the same to the other side, leaving a space kind of in between. And this shirt probably isn't the best example because it's so wrinkled, um, but I'm not necessarily worried about wrinkles. So you definitely want to make sure that you have this line I've learned in the center. And so the next thing you want to do is kind of fold the shirt in thirds. So I always start with the top and fold it down. And then again, leaving a gap, I fold the bottom half upwards. And then I fold it again in half. There's four of his shirts all together and they'll go in the drawer just like this. I start off by simply folding them in half this way, and then I'll fold the bottoms up to the top, and then I kind of roll the top down, and then again, creates this really nice stack effect. Siler has a lot of adjustable waist pants, so I find that curling the top in first and then rolling them over again really works well when you have pants with adjustable waist. So I wanted to share with you guys how I'm doing the shorts method. I'll start with the top, kind of fold it under, and then do that again, and then they stand up that way. I to fold three different um, pairs of socks. I have my husband's socks, I have Siler's, my six-year-old, and I have my 11-year-old socks. So they're all kind of different sizes. So this is kind of what I found works for me. So with my husband's socks, I fold them, um, I put each one on top of each other here, like so, and then I fold them one, two, three, and then four times. And I find for his, four times works. For ankle socks, for my six-year-old, again, I'm just placing the socks neatly on top of each other this way, and I fold one, and then two, and I only have to fold one. For my 11 year old socks, I find folding one, two, and then three times works well for his socks. I'm pretty much all finished with Siler's dresser and I wanted to show you where I'm kind of at. So here is his pajama and underwear drawer. I already had um, these fabric baskets around the house and I just kind of repurposed them to put his underwear in just because it made more sense because they were so loose flying all over the place that didn't stay organized. And here is his shirt drawer. Um, it almost looks kind of empty. It creates so much space when you fold your clothes this way. And lastly, here are his pants and shorts. Again, it just creates so much space, makes so much sense, I don't know. All right, we are now in Kavian's room, my 11 year old, and I'm pretty much complete with his drawers as well. Again, I just used this fabric basket I already had and put all of his socks right in that basket. He's got his underwear and he's got his pajamas. And the way I did this is I put shirt with pants. So all he has to do is come in, pretty much slide these out and pull forward. And here is his shirt drawer. And lastly, we have his pants drawer. Now as you can see, I've got shorts on this side, pants on this side, so once I'm finished doing laundry, this will pretty much all be filled up. I am finally finished with my daughter's drawers. I'm still doing laundry, so hers are kind of empty. Uh, I got her pajamas and her little training underwear. And here is her 
dress and outfit and shirt drawer. And I've got her pants. She's got her sweatpants and then her jeans and then her skirt. So yeah, really happy with how all of the kids' dressers came out. So that's gonna wrap it up for my very first video in my Con Marie Method series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, as well as our daily vlogs. And if you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share with me, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.